Hey guys, welcome back to Contest Prep University. I'm Joe Klimczewski with Adam Atkinson. We are in episode five of How to Become a Coach. We're going to continue on now talking about associations and collaboration. So I mentioned as we closed last time, you need to get out and meet people. If you're going to have mentorship relationships, if you're going to be known in the industry, you've got to show up. And, and I'll tell you, man, early on as I was speaking, you know, maybe starting 20, 22 years ago at, at fitness camps and bodybuilding camps and than science conferences, you would see a lot of the same people there. You know, these hungry young coaches that I always thought, man, that's, you know, that's a nice person. I like this person, but they're just getting started. I don't know if they're ever going to make it. There, there wasn't necessarily anything that, that showed me a, a winning business model, so to speak. And yet 10, 15, 20 years later, they are giants in the industry with businesses just because they kept showing up. And, and I think that's, that's kind of cliche. I, that's, you know, people say that all the time, just show up. Uh, but it, it really matters that, that you meet those people and that you're, you're showing that hunger to become the best. Yeah, absolutely. I know that for me, I've met a lot of my current clients at shows when, you know, we, we had no even initial solicitation about working together. And then here they are emailing me. I saw you at North Americans and uh, I saw, you know, X, Y, and Z client went pro and uh, I would like to work with you. And you always wonder, had I not been there, would they have even noticed me or noticed who my athletes were? Um, social media, I can only tell you so much. I would say that I'm very mediocre on social media, but I, I really think that my importance is being there with my athletes and uh, just watching too. Uh, even if I didn't have clients at a national show, I would still go. You need to be there. You need to watch the trends and you need to get an eye for the criteria. You know, just dieting alone or being a good nutrition coach, you know, that's only one foundation. You need to understand the criteria in this and what it takes to actually get a bikini pro or bodybuilding pro. And you'll never learn unless you're showing up. You know, we were, we were just updating our website, uh, which was long overdue. But when I was finished and I told Corey, hey, go look at this, check it out, proof it. When, when, when she got to the kind of what we do thing, she said, I was just taken aback by how many collaborative things we have going on. And, and, and I think again, to first of all, just Corey herself, she was a personal trainer in Colorado, also a community licensed mental health therapist. And then when I hired her, you know, flash forward 12 years later, she's the vice president of our company. She worked through her PhD. She's become a leading voice in this industry. You know, what if that collaboration had never happened? She, she certainly made our company unbelievably better but you know where would she be without that collaboration i created contest prep university with you i created the, the nutrition coaching uh, global mastermind with eric helms i created the national academy of metabolic science with tyler mayer you know these are all things i'm i'm obviously somebody who likes collaboration i like the input with other people it's just it, it's not only more fun but Harvard Business Review did a study of all of the industry leaders. Look at every single leader in every business category. And the single biggest common denominator was they had the widest open source network of collaboration. They didn't just sit in their corner and fight off defenders. They actually collaborated with a broad uh, group of businesses. And I, I just think that's important. Yeah, that's huge. You know, I think that's one thing that sets us back in the medical community is because every university wants to have like that one thing, right? And man, it's like if all these universities collaborated, how amazing would that be? And how much more fast forward would we be than we are today? And one last thing to mention, guys, in, in, I linked in the word association as well. You know, as soon as I graduated from physical therapy school, I went through the, the uh, National Strength and Conditioning Association to become a CSCS. I went through the International Society of Sports Nutrition to become a, a certified ISSN uh, clinician. Uh, we created the National Academy of Metabolic Science to help people literally become coaches. And, and some of these things, they're, they're associations, they're certifications, they're, they're nice little things to hang on your wall and, and to learn and get those skills. 
but there are also groups of people and organizations that have conferences and other members that you can get to know. So don't, don't forget that there are some of the formal ways as well as just showing up to different events. But we're going to talk a little bit deeper on those topics next time. So stay with us for the next episode of Contest Prep University.